In this recording, we will look at how to rearrange equations and formulae. In particular, suppose we have an equation or formula we want to rearrange to make a particular letter the subject. And the method we are going to look at is to write out in order all the operations that have been performed on the letter we are solving for. Then we can reverse each of these operations and in the opposite order to which they originally occurred. So in this first example, given 5x minus 7 equals 18, we want to make x the subject. So let's think about what happened to x. And the first thing that happened to x is it was multiplied by 5. Or we could just write a note of this over here. Basically that was x times 5. Then what happened to the result? Then 7 was subtracted from the resulting expression 5x. So then we had minus 7. So we could now reverse these operations. So we started off going in this order, now we go back the other way and do the opposite. So that what's the reverse of subtraction? And the answer is addition. So therefore first we would start by adding 7 to both sides. So that would give us 5x minus 7 plus 7 on the left and on the right 18 plus 7. We must add 7 to both sides otherwise it will no longer be the same. And you can see this is indeed effective because on the left negative 7 plus 7 just gives 0 and 5x plus 0 is just 5x and on the right 18x plus 7 is 25. So adding 7 to both sides has had the desired effect of starting to isolate what we want, which is x. But we said the first thing that happened is x was multiplied by 5. What is the opposite of multiplication? It is in fact the case that division reverses multiplication. So continuing to work backwards to undo the steps that happened to x, we now need to divide both sides of the equation by 5. And when we do this, on the left we get 5x divided by 5, on the right we get 25 divided by 5. And you'll notice this has a desired effect because the 5's then cancel on the left, just leaving x, which is what we wanted to find. And on the right we get 25 divided by 5 equals 5. So therefore our required answer is x equals 5. So let's look at one more example. Given the square root of the whole expression a minus c divided by b equals d, let's make a the subject. So let's think about the process of what happened to a. And the first thing that happened was a had c subtracted from it. So let's write down that first part of the story of what happened. So that basically means we had minus c. Then what happened? Well the resulting expression a minus c was divided by b. And so again if we're just abbreviating that we then had division by b. And finally the square root of the whole result was taken. So that is the process that happened here. First subtraction, then a division operation, then a square root operation. So again, to disentangle A from all of this and get it as a subject, we need to reverse these operations. And we said that we need to work backwards in the opposite order to what we started from. So the last thing that happened 
was the square root was taken of the whole expression. So what is the reverse of taking the square root of something? And it is actually squaring. So it is squaring both sides of this equation or raising them to the power of 2, which is what this abbreviation here means. So let's start by doing that, by squaring both sides. That is, writing this out with squaring of both sides, we get the square root of a minus c divided by b, all squared, is equal to d squared. And the whole point of doing this is that squaring both sides is the reverse of taking the square root, so that these will effectively cancel to just leave us with the expression under the square root sign which was a minus c divided by b and we now know that that is equal to d squared. So let's look back at our list of operations. We've reversed the square root by squaring both sides. The next thing was we had division by b and the reverse of division is multiplication by b to cancel that from the left hand side. You could write that line out again fully if you want. For convenience, I'll just do it here. So we've got b multiplied by this whole expression is equal to b times d squared, which can just be written b d squared. And this does indeed have the desired effect because we then get b times a minus c, all divided by b. So b divided by b is just 1, meaning the b's cancel leaving us with a minus c equal to b d squared. Now the final operation we need to reverse was the first one that happened, subtracting c from a. And the reverse of subtraction will be addition, getting rid of c but leaving us with the required letter a that we wanted on the left hand side. So finally adding c to both sides to see that in practice a minus c plus c equals b d squared plus c. Sure enough negative c plus c is 0 so that we are just left with a plus 0 which is a on the left and that is equal to b d squared plus c on the right. So we have now achieved the required goal of making a the subject of this formula.